Capricorn. Welcome to your first to the 15th of August tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I'll be doing your reading today. I have quite a few different uh, options for private readings now and at the end of this I'll be going through all of them so you'll want to stay until the end to hear all of the different private readings I have. Some start at $4.99 now so that's really cool. Um, so let's get started on your reading today. We're going into Wonderland and um, transition. So you're going through a period of transition right now. And it looks like it's a dark time, but look at those, you know, those beautiful flowers. It's not as dark as you think it is. There is beauty. There is light at the end of the tunnel. There's a metamorphosis, a change. You're becoming something way more beautiful. It's a necessary transition. All right, so what's going on in Capricorn's mind? Okay, so I have the Magician reversed. Oh, it's two more cards for inside Capricorn's mind. I have the King of Cups reversed. And I have strength in the upright. Right, so whatever the magician reverses, this is um, a lack of self-discipline. You don't have the resources, not knowing what you really want. There could be a liar or a thief or a bully internally. Uh, communication problems within yourself. The caterpillar asks, who are you? Who are you? And then we have the King of Cups in the reverse. So when the King of Cups reverses, this is being overly emotional. This is someone who's moody, depressed, um, repressed emotions, addictions, stressed. And he's very stressed, stressed out. And then we have strength. And um, this is inner strength. This is purity of modems, control over your desires. Um, this can be jealousy. This is control, uh, fear, courage. So it's white and it's good and bad. Um, in this, I'm seeing more like. You feel fear, but you do it anyway because of your inner strength. So this is feeling fear, but still doing it anyway. Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? One card for why the magician. Alright, so we have the Nine of Peppermills, which is the Nine of Wands. This is uh, someone who's constantly on guard, who's taking on way too much, who underestimated massive efforts that things take, um, who's taking on too many battles. Um, this is the battle-weary soldier. Why is the King of Cups here? Right, the star reverse, it could have to do with an Aquarius. Um, so when the star reverses, there's a loss of faith. There's fears again, fear of tomorrow. Fear is a central theme so far internally. So there's a lot of fears. Um, afraid of what people will think. Um, a loss of in innocence, loneliness. Why is strength here? My strength here. Alright, so I have the magician, but this time in the upright. So the magician came out twice, which means that that's really an energy that it wants us to talk about. The magician is ruled by Mercury, and Mercury is communication. So the magician rules communication. Uh, I always see it as a Gemini, but it can also be a Virgo. It's either Gemini or it's a Virgo. So 
Sorry, that was irritating me. Um, so when the magician is in the upright, this is the ability to manifest. This is following a dream. This is the golden opportunity. This is a flash of inspiration. This is personal power, um, resourcefulness. You have everything you need to succeed here with the magician. And you have the ability to manifest. And fear is holding you back. But fears are false, false evidence appearing real. So don't ever like believe your fears. They're just, they're fake. <laughs> right, so what's going on in Capricorn's family and home life? Two cards for Capricorn's family and home life, please. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said two. I need three, one more, one more. Another thing about your internal world is it's very emotional. There's a lot of blue, which to me is water. Uh, it looks like things are changing internally. Okay, externally in your family and home life, we begin with the Ace of Swords. So there's confusion, there's chaos, there's a lack of clarity here. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So we're back into your energy, and there's major conflict here between swords, which is air energy, and pentacles, which is earth energy. Air is all about change and movement, and earth wants to stay still. The nine of pentacles is the results of hard work, driving ambition, free to enjoy a lavish lifestyle, in a position to afford anything. This could be pregnancy as well, especially with the swords here, where there's a lot of change, but then there's also the stability. And then we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. And this is um, breaking habits, challenges. And this is the card of Aquarius. The Ace of Swords can be Aquarius. This is Aquarius. We have Aquarius here. I'm getting a lot of Aquarius energy here for you. And there's major conflict with this long-term success, the stability, and all this change surrounding you and your family and home life. All right, why is the Ace of Swords here? All right, the Page of Oysters. Um, so there's manifestation of a new financial opportunity, um, thinking long-term, getting off to a good start, and that's what's causing the chaos and the confusion. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Okay, I have the hair font, something traditional, uh, legacy, education, a counselor. You, but you're giving your power away here. You're blindly following something. You're surrendering your free will. You're believing whatever you're told. Um, doing what everyone expects of you but it's not necessarily making you happy I just think it's funny that this hair font has the hookah, the marijuana and we were talking about addictions above this alright seven of swords in reverse, one card for the seven I have the ton of flamingos. So this is backstab, betrayal. This is um, complete and total mental breakdown, hitting rock bottom. So you're breaking habits because you hit rock bottom, because you're having this complete and total mental breakdown, because you're having all these painful lessons. That's why you're breaking habits. All right, what's going on with Capricorn's money? Three cards for Capricorn's money, please. One more card for Capricorn's money. Ooh. Ooh, Capricorn. All right, the first one that we have is the Ten of Swords, and that came out right above it. Um, so this is being backstabbed, abuse, gossip, hitting a rock bottom, being attacked. 
lots of painful lessons coming your way. Now we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. There's a delay. There's a lack of motivation. And then we have the Nine of Swords, which is betrayal, deceit, sneaky, lies, theft. You need to be careful who you trust. This is the dark night of the soul. This is anxiety, sleepless nights, worry, mind spirals, spiraling in never ending circles, feeling alone on the edge of sanity. That's horrible. That is really bad. Let's clarify all these. Okay, why is the Ten of Swords here? Because of the Queen of Oysters. Um, so the Queen of Oysters is your energy. This is a housekeeper. This is um, being financially secure. This is um, prosperity. This is working hard for what you have. Being down to earth, practical, no nonsense with your with your money, and someone backstabbed and betrayed you. Off with your head. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Okay, so I have the Six of Hats in the reverse. So being stuck in the past, unrealistic, being naive. Why is the Nine of Swords here? It's so basically you trusted someone you shouldn't have trusted. All right, we have the five of pepper mills. So this is conflict, competition, uh, arguments. So you're staying up at night because of arguments. It could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, there could be some verbal abuse here. And it's over money, over finances. All right, three cards, three advice cards for Capricorn, please. Three advice cards for Capricorn, please. Three advice cards for Capricorn, please. Knight of Swords, two more. King of Wands, two of Wands reversed. Curious or incurious? All right, first we have the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is a thumbs up. It's a go ahead to put your plans into action, saying go for it. If you're under pressure, express yourself. Um, this is impatience. Being rebellious, dramatic. The juggling act. The balancing act, balancing things together, a natural born leader, an entrepreneur. Strong Aries energy here. All right, and then we have the Two of Wands in the reverse. And who is Aries? Aries is a go getter, a self starter. He's quick, fast paced, hot tempered, adventuresome, fearless. So we have the two of wands in the reverse. There's fear of the unknown here. There's a lack of planning, but you need to give that up. You need to give that up because things come in fast when you give that up. Why is the Knight of Swords here? All right, the four of flamingos. This is um, restlessness, burnout. There's a lack of progress. Why is the King of Wands here? The Chariot. Gaining control of opposing forces. Control over emotions. But beware, appearances can be deceiving. This is Cancer energy. This is travel. Um, the hiding behind a mask. Why is the Two of Wands here? 
the emperor reversed so there's anger issues irresponsibility impatience um, selfishness greed being unhelpful going on in Capricorn's romantic and sexual life? Three cards for Capricorn's romantic and sexual life, please. Three cards for Capricorn's romantic and sexual life, please. One more card. All right, cool. The first one we have is the full reverse. So this is impulsive, reckless behavior, ignoring advice, poor timing, being senseless, inappropriate actions. We have the nine of wands in the reverse. So this is being on edge, defensive, hesitant, paranoid. And we have justice. You're exactly where you deserve to be. The laws of karma, legal matters, marriage. There's an establishment, a home establishment here. And this says, by the queen, a proclamate, a, pro pro a proclamation. No, no, now know ye that we are graciously extending our grace and mercy to grant our free royal pardon. All sentences are commuted by her majesty's command. So they're right here, the balancing the scales. She's all like off with your head and he's all like your pardon and you can get away with anything. So they're two complete opposites working together um, to make a fair and just legal. All right, so the fool is here because of the Six of Oysters in the reverse. So the Six of Oysters in the reverse is debt, selfishness. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The Ace of Oysters in the reverse, lost opportunity. Why is Justice here? Difficult choices, painful decisions, can't think clearly. All right, three cards for Capricorn's career and life purpose, please. So the first one we have is the tower reverse or some damage control. You got out of the way of danger before it came and bit you. So that's good. We have the moon in reverse. So there's nightmares, imagination running wild, fear. Again, we have fear, buried memories, fear, 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 fear. You're so scared. There's so much to fear here in this reading. And then we have the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is conflict, tension, betrayal, um, physical attacks, major loss, criminal violence, abuse. Being manipulated by the moon. Abuse damage control. Why is the tower reversed here? The queen of hats in reverse. So this is somebody who's very manipulative, bitter, jealous, and it's in your career. Someone who's a fashion victim, he's very clingy. Why is the moon in reverse here? Here. The Queen of Pepper Mills. Oh, so we have another queen. So queens are very influential. Um, they nurture ideas. They're mature. They're deeply self-aware. 
their ideas, action, and going. So the Queen of Pepper Mills in reverse is um, powerless, a tyrant, a bully, a dictator, arrogant, um, a loss of an empire. Traditionally, it's a Sagittarius or an Aries. All right, the Five of Swords, why is it here? All right, so we have the Five of Oysters in the reverse. So this is recovery from financial loss. Any other advice? For Capricorn, watch your intentions. And again, this looks like Aquarius, like the card of Aquarius. All right, Capricorn, thank you so much for joining me today. Now, I do have quite a few different uh, types of private readings available. Uh, the first type is my regular ones. They're $20 for 40 minutes. I do record them and then put them on YouTube unlisted. And I send you the link so only you with the link can watch them. Um, so that's a deal, $20 for 40 minutes. Uh, that's going to be going on the rest of the summer. The uh, I have my regular private readings too and those are the regular price. So the second one, this is so exciting. I'm going to be doing couples, singles, and careers, three different types. I'm going to be putting them on VML, and they're $4.99 in order to watch those. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, so if like this resonates with you and you want a little bit more about your career, you can purchase your career for $4.99 and just watch that. And that way you don't have to get a personal reading for $20. You can just pay the $4.99 and watch the, addition, the added career um, video. Also, I'm offering text messages and I'm offering phone calls with Instant Go. And that's all in the, the description box below. Thank you so much. Have a great day, Captain.
Thank you. 
Thank you. 